Hey everyone, I recently made a video about my experience in Georgia Tech's OMSCS program, and I got a few questions about how I prepared for the program as someone who didn't have an undergrad degree in computer science. So I wanted to make this video to talk about that. As far as requirements go, I've posted a link to the official OMSCS website in the description below for the most up-to-date requirements. At the time of recording, they recommend having an undergraduate degree in computer science or a related STEM field. If you don't have that background, Georgia Tech does offer three MOOCs, which you can complete. They didn't have this at the time that I applied to the program, so instead I took four community college classes, two classes in object-oriented programming, one in computer architecture, and one in web development. They also require three letters of recommendation, preferably from a professor who can speak to your experience in computer science. I had two professors from my bioengineering undergrad write me letters of recommendation, and one skip level manager from my old job who had a PhD in a STEM field. If you don't have a professor who can speak to your experience in computer science, this is also a good opportunity to take a community college class. If you do well in these classes, professors are usually happy to write you a letter of recommendation. Georgia Tech will also ask for a resume as well as a list of academic achievements. I tailored my resume to highlight my previous programming experience, and I included one scholarship that I earned in my undergrad. Finally, I wrote a statement of purpose. It looks like this is now a list of free response questions, and these are a great opportunity to really think about why you're interested in the program. You might want to do OMSCS because you want a job that pays more or has a better work-life balance. And while I do think that these are valid reasons for doing OMSCS, I think the best reason is that you just have a genuine interest in learning more about computer science. After all, if you don't enjoy computer science, then you're not going to be happy having a job in the field. If you are not interested in computer science, you probably just need to learn more about it because it actually is very interesting. I would recommend a series of YouTube videos by PBS called Computer Crash Course and I'll link that in the description below, as well as a book called The Innovators by Walter Isaacson, which walks through the history of computer science. You'll also want to learn at least one programming language. I would recommend learning two programming languages, one high level and one low level. The high level programming language I recommend is Python because of its approachable syntax and its large community. I would recommend C for the low-level programming language because it'll help teach you a lot about how computers' operating systems and architecture work. Finally, I'd like to talk about preparing for OMSCS from a time management perspective. In my previous video, I estimated that I spent about 2,000 hours on the program over the two and a half years it took me to complete it, and I like to joke that Time management is actually the single biggest skill that I gained from OMSCS since I completed the program while also working full time. I recommend two resources for getting better at time management before you start OMSCS. These are two books that I read before starting the program and the concepts that I learned from them really helped me when I was crunched for time. The first is a book called Atomic Habits by James Clear and it walks through some science-backed strategies for developing routines, which can help you reach your goals. The second is a book called Deep Work by Cal Newport, and it talks about some of the science behind getting into a deep, focused flow state, which can help you work without distraction. So I hope this video helped you if you're thinking about or are currently preparing for OMSCS. I got a few questions about the courses that I took in the program in my last video as well, and I plan on making another video walking through each course that I took as well as my opinions on it, and I'll see you next time.